Hello all, in this particular tutorial we will learn how to do the step by step setup of SQL Server 2019 failover cluster on Windows Server 2019. I'll be using VMware Workstation Pro 17. The only three softwares that are needed to do this particular setup is SQL Server 2019. You can use Developer Edition, Evaluation Edition or Enterprise Edition if you are doing this in your work environment. Windows 2019, I'll be using Windows Server 2019 Evaluation Edition and VMware Workstation Pro Trial or Evaluation Edition. So these are the three software that I'll be using. Now, the uh, before setting up, I just want you to understand how the how the uh, nodes work. So basically what we have is like we have one or more nodes. You can have multiple nodes. So I'll be setting two node cluster. So basic you on one node where the instance is running that is called active node and another node where instance is not running is called passive node. Now you can have active active cluster and active passive active active cluster means there are some instances which are running on node two. So there are some instances running on node one. Remember same instance cannot run on both the nodes. The instance can only run on one node. Now the every instance needs a shared storage. Every instance needs a shared storage. So if you have one instance, you need one one disk, probably one or more disk. If you are separating the disk between data, logs, etc. If you have another instance, you need another disk and this should be shared. So when if the instance is up on node one, those disks will be visible on node one. If the instance is up on node two, those disks will be visible on node two. We can use uh, some of the queries actually. So we can use uh, some of the queries to identify and I'll, I'll show you what are those queries. So let me let me let me go here and you can see what are the queries. So we can use uh, this particular queries to identify what which is our cluster environment. So we can use this particular queries to identify which is our cluster environment. I'm going to close this. Yeah. So now now that we have seen how it works, it's it's pretty simple. So I'll, what I'll do is like I'll go to this particular node. I've got I've installed SSMS here. Nothing else is installed. So what I'm I'm going to do and I'm already mounted. Before doing that, I'll show you the failover cluster. So this is the failover cluster. It has got two nodes, and this particular tutorial is is continuation of the previous tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, we learned how to set up the failover cluster. You need to first install the failover cluster. Once you install the failover cluster, Windows failover cluster, then only you can set up the SQL cluster. You cannot set up the SQL cluster unless until there is no failover cluster. So you need to first have the failover cluster. So I have got two nodes here, node one and node two. This is this is Windows 2019. Both of these nodes are Windows 2019. And if you see the roles, no items found. So you can see no item found, which means I do not have any instances or any SQL roles in my cluster. So what I'm going to do now that we have seen the nodes etc etc what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to i have already inserted the disk this is the sql server 2019 installation so i'm going to run this as admin so sql server 2019 and i'll minimize this and in the background it's going to do some setup thing i'm going to i'm going to make this in the middle installation we have to choose new sql server failover cluster installation on the first node we should be and the, on the second node we'll be choosing add node so and the second, third, fourth, we will be choosing this. On the first node, we will be choosing this. So I'll choose this particular option. I'll minimize this. And it's going to, it's, it's basically checking some things, running the setup. Give it a minute. Won't take much time. Now, based on how powerful your machine is, you might get this sooner than me. My machine is not that powerful. So I'm not getting this set up quickly based on how fast I, I would like to pause this actually because it's taking a long time. So finally, after waiting for a long time, it actually appeared. So Microsoft update. So we this particular machine does not have the internet connectivity. So I'm going to uncheck this. It's going to fail. So I'm going to OK. Click on next. It's again going to check some rules so it's going to check whether and we will see some warnings here and i'm i'm going to be okay with this so you can see there are some cluster warnings and there will be there might there are yeah so only cluster warnings we have got so apart from cluster warnings we do not have any kind of warnings which is good so i'm going to click on next 
developer edition so i'm going to choose the developer edition click on next again you can accept the license again i'll show you you can choose the evaluation or if you have the enterprise key you can enter the key i'll go with the developer edition click on next i accept the license click on next and what we will do is like we'll choose the database engine services if you want to change the location you can change the location click on next and i'll network name what network name you want so i'll choose sql 19 network network so this is sql 2019 network and named instance i'll go with the named instance so let's say sql 19 inst1 so i'm choosing this particular name again this is of your choice this is of your choice based on your organization standards or if it is on your personal lab you can choose whatever you want so these are this is just a name so sql 19 and sql 19 inst1 click on next and here i'll remove this again you can keep this it's fine i'm going to remove that and remember that you can see that in our disk here you can see we have one data disk which is of 20 gb one quorum disk of 10 gb and automatically sql has identified that data disk this data disk it has already identified quorum disk it cannot use the quorum disk it can only use the data disk so it has already identified it says that clearly quorum disk cannot be used so it has already identified that which is okay click on next and we'll give some ip address instead of dscp we'll give some ip address and this is the ip address of your instance sql instance so i'll give uh maybe 120 so that's the ip address i'm going going to give next this you can use the local service account i'm going to use the domain account so let me say sql sa check name okay and again the same thing here sql sa check name domain and here give the password of the sql sa domain account and grant this one click on next if ever, if the passwords all look good then it will go to the next page which looks good i'll choose mix mode give the strong password this will be your sa password these SA sysadmin password for your instance add current user data directories right so you, you can go with this particular option so what i'll do is like i'll just remove this so that you know i don't have to navigate so i'll remove this as well and here i'll put this in logs and what i'll do is i'll go to f drive and here i'll create a new folder called tmdb all other drives will get created so i don't have to do that so i'll choose this particular folder and for the tmdb for the temp db i'm going to remove this and add the the folder that i just created that's good that's good click on next i'll minimize this and if you here is the summary whatever options that you gave here is the summary if something doesn't look right you can always go back and collect it but however in my case for I, have, I know that I have chosen everything correctly, so I'm not going to go back. And these are all the options, summary of what you have chosen. And if re revisit this, make sure everything looks good. And if everything looks good, click on the install button. So in the background, the installation has started. The installation is going to take some time. And what is going to happen at the end of this installation is under the rules. And you can see right now, we do not have no items found, no items found. What will happen? is like when this particular installation is about to finish about to finish you will get a role here you will get a role here so what i'll do is like i'll pause the video maybe for few seconds not more than that because it it's go not going to take a lot of time so I'll, I'll just pause the video and come back yeah so here you can see and we are in the last space and you can see it's it's going to it's going to partially running etc etc so the setup is running on one side so here is the setup i'll do this so I'll, I'll try to adjust this yeah so here is the setup which is running and here partially running and owner node is win19 node 1 the owner node is win19 node 1 because this is the node this is the machine and if i show it to you command prompt and if i do host name you can see that we are installing this on win19 node 1 
and this is the owner node and this is where the instance is going to is instance is going to be installed this this is the role that gets created when we install and you can have multiple roles you can have multiple roles in a cluster and if everything and you can see that based on this everything is looking good now so what i'll do now is i'll go to the domain controller and i'll try to connect to that instance let's see if i have got that and network server so let's see if i can get that if i don't get it that's fine I'll i know what is the instance name so the sql 19 and slash sql 19 inht1 and if everything looks good then we should be connected so now i'll, I'll what i'll do is i'll say new query and here i'll run these two queries so the first query that i'm running and i'll put this on the top this is the first query that i want to run this query will show this query will show that in my cluster so dm os cluster nodes dm os cluster nodes i got two nodes node one and the current owner is one so there is only one node in my cluster sql cluster and that is the current owner and if i run this particular query if i run this particular query you can see that my instance name instance name is sql19 and it is this is the this is the network name this is the actual instance name and it is currently running on win19 node 1 all good now what i'll do i'll try to come here and i'll try to actually fail over this node to the second node and here i'll try to fail over it will not fail over because the second node is not part of the cluster so the action move did not complete action move did not complete so the reason of that is we have installed this particular role only on one node so what we need to do now is we need to go to the second node and we need to i'll, minim I'll minimize this we need to do the same thing again however this time instead of saying add a cre uh, new sql server failover cluster installation we will be choosing an option called add node so that's the option that we will be choosing so here under the installation we on the first node we chose this on all other nodes we will be choosing this particular option so i'm saying add node and give it a minute again it's going to do something in the background so that's done again we cannot use microsoft update do not have the connectivity next is going to is going to skip that and it's going to do the rule check again if all the rules are passed we will we might get one or two warnings so we are getting some warnings on the cluster which is okay i'm going to ignore those these are warnings so i'm going to ignore them click on next again choose whatever edition you want i'm going to go with developer edition i accept the license click on next so, and you can see here this is the instance sql19 inc1 and current node is node 1 and what we are going to do is we are going to add the node 2 to the cluster so this is the win19 node 2 so we are going to add the node 2 to the cluster i'm going to click next and we don't have to do any changes here and i'll say this and i'll, I'll give the password of the sa account sorry the service account and we do not have to specify the directories or anything else because all of that has been done on the node one so we don't have to do that here and if everything looks good then click on install button so what is going to happen in the background is the second node is going to be the part of the cluster second node is going to be the part of the cluster now this one is not going to take a lot of the time it's, it's probably few seconds again if your machine is much faster than mine then it will take it will be finished in as soon as you click install probably in few seconds it will be done however my machine is not that powerful so it will take some time uh, not much but it will take some time so what what we are going to do now is we are going to go back to our dc and remember that in our clusters we you had you had only one node so we have only one node keep an eye on this output and what will happen when this second node gets installed what will happen is like automatically under the nodes under the nodes you will be able to find that we have more than one node the node one will be still be the current owner because we have not failed over but if for some reason if when we fail over then you will see that node two so this is current current scenario so i'll put it this is the current scenario and give it a minute so let's see what is happening on the node two 
So it's still installing. Should not take much time. Almost there. And let's go to the SSMS and try to find out what's the status still not registered. So give it a minute. I'm keep on hitting or maybe probably I'll just have to wait for this to finally complete instead of continuously hitting. And that's done. So everything looks succeeded. Everything looks succeeded. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to come to SMS and I'm going to run this and remember you had only one node. Now you have two nodes and you can see node one is still active. Node one is still active. And if I run this particular query, it will say that node one has got the instance. Now I'll go to the node one and action mode did not complete. So we tried to fail it over to the node two. Now let's do that. So I'm going to move it to the second node. So node two. And this time that error is not appearing. It's pending. So what is happening is like the instance is now failing over to node two. So now if I come to the SSMS and if I try to run here, Okay, instead of that, if I try to run here, what will happen is like you can see the node one is currently active node. And if I run this, the node two is now it's it's saying that the instance is running. So after failover, so this is after failover. So I'm going to say after failover. So we have we have gracefully failed over. So for whatever reason, if you want to reboot the node, etc, etc, we can fail over the node and instance to the second node. And that happened. And you can see now from node one, it is showing that the current node is and we can if you run this particular query, you can see there are two nodes and node two is now the current owner. Now what I'm going to do is and this is the final part, what I'm going to do is like, what if the current current active node is node 2. You can see your current active node is node 2. What if for some reason node 2 is crashed or what if the power gets disconnected? What happens in that scenario? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the node 2 and I'm going to say shut down. I'm going to say shut down of that node 2. So the node 2, the current node is currently the current owner, the current node 2 is getting shut down. So in this case, I'm not going to initiate the failover. So you, you what will happen in the background and it still say, says that node 2 is the active node. So what will happen is like the, the node 1 will become the primary. Automatically, the instance will move to the node 1. So this is the concept of your HA. This is the HA SQL Server HA feature, which is called SQL Server Failover Cluster. And what we saw here is two node and you can see node one has become the primary and I have not disconnected here. So automatically the application should automatically connect. Sometimes if the application doesn't connect, try to reconnect or get create a logic in the, your application that after the node failure, it connects to the second node. So I hope this particular tutorial was useful. In this particular tutorial, we learned how to set up a two node failure cluster, active passive cluster. We learned how to set up the active plus passive cluster, the two node cluster. We did this in VMware Workstation Pro 17 on Windows Server 2019 Evaluation Edition using SQL Server 2019 Developer Edition. Only three softwares which are required for you is SQL Server 2019, Windows Server 2019 and VMware Workstation Pro 17. These are the only three softwares which are used in this particular tutorial. I hope this particular tutorial was useful. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.